Hi everyone, it's Kieran and Mike from 81 Vintage and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're off to quite possibly the biggest... What is it? House clearance, House clearance place yeah. that I've ever seen. But first, I need a haircut and Mike needs some breakfast. Haircut? What do we think? Very nice. Not you. Oh. Fed? Yep, very nice. Very... Yeah, very good. <laughs> this is the departmental store in Mould. It deals with house clearances and sells on items rather than sending them to landfill. This is the first time that we've ever been here and we found it on Facebook. There's loads. I've actually wanted a piece like this for in the back bedroom to put all your DVDs in. There was a great mix of different items, a great mix of furniture and also a great mix of bric-a-brac. Usually charity shops are one or the other and normally they don't have as much space. We particularly liked that brass mirror and if I could have thought of the perfect place for it, I would have got it. It really is a treasure trove and I've never seen this many tables in one place. Yeah, look at the old fire grate. It was really a bit overwhelming to see this much stuff in one place and it was incredibly difficult to film and have a good look and now that I'm editing back I can actually see so many things that I should have had a really good look at. This is the type of thing that I think needs to be in more places up and down the country. And I think it's a really great way of ensuring that stuff that is usable and practical doesn't go into landfill. There's so much here that upcyclers could do stuff with. I mean, look at this. This is just filled with spindles. I am kicking myself not for picking up this base, which looks like architectural salvage to me. I am tempted to go back for it. Look at all the retro fans over for the fiver. It was a great mix of electrical items and I really like those retro fans. I think fans can look a little bit ugly and so a retro one just helps add a bit of style. Oh, the mirrors are actually really cheap. Look, there's two pound on there. I'm not quite sure who was drawing pictures of onions and pickles, but I hope they got some good marks. It looks like an art project to me. There was an awful lot of furniture and I was keeping an eye out for some pieces that I could upholster or do something with. Look at the, the chemist bottle. Fiber. Look at these. I absolutely do love them. You'd have to use them now. Yeah. They could be our wine glasses. <laughs> oh, me more mad then. Me more mad then. There was lots of bric-a-brac and porcelain, cups, saucers, plates, that type of thing here. Some of them were quite highly priced, but it wasn't anything that I really saw, other than this old phone. There is actually something on this top shelf though that I did pick up and take home. These places can be great for nostalgia and finding those items from your childhood. Here's our internet that we used to have when I was a kid. 
I know a few of you are jealous of the amount of tools I've got in my garage. I bought most of them secondhand from places like this. Come on, someone has just come over near where we were and farted and walked off. There was definitely a mix of people here. You could tell there were some people who wanted to resell, some people who were buying for themselves, and some people who were just looking out for that solid gold bar at the bottom of a box. Look, look at the old Chubba Chubbs box. If you want it, keep I'm going to keep hold of it. And you know I said these places were good for nostalgia, Mike spotted his very first stereo. Is that your first stereo? First ever stereo. If it was something small like that I would have said get it for nostalgic reasons but that's a monster. When did you get that? <laughs> Christmas 1992. You mean when I was one? <laughs> I was so tempted to try on this wig, but I passed. It's very good. Yeah. Nice box. There were shelves and shelves of bric-a-brac. Again, a lot of it highly priced. We did find a really cool vintage stapler amongst this lot, but it was broken. I'm an absolute sucker for anything apothecary and I just loved the colour of that green glass. The clogs. <laughs> Quite nice, is there a price on it? Tenner? Must be something in it. It's funny, every time I seem to turn around I spotted something new, including this set of drawers. It needed a bit of work to add a top on the top and one of the drawers was missing, but it would have been well worth it. And I also love this tea trolley. Someone had painted it quite some time ago, so if you're against painting furniture, it's been around a while, but they'd done it with this sort of odd marble technique that I just really seem to like. Once we'd had a look at what was classed as the neat section, we actually went and had a dive through the boxes. There were quite a few people rummaging through these and one lady was absolutely throwing bits all over the place, left, right and centre. There's all sorts of great mix of items in here and really you just have to dig through, have a good look through the box and see if there's anything there that takes your fancy. I did spot this weird toy which I had no idea what it was off. Let me know in the comments below whether this is something you recognise. It's super funny the things that can trigger you off. In fact, this weird looking doll reminds me of one of our neighbors. Oh, look at the old saw. The handle on that. Isn't that pretty? What is it? Strange creature.
Mm, the chalk's nice. Mm. It's chipped actually. So what did you think? Really good. It was good, wasn't it? It was big. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect. Um, uh, somewhere I think we definitely need to go back to. Yeah, it was cold though. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> and we did get some stuff and I'll show you what I got. So I'm home now and I'm getting quite a lot of glare on my glasses so I'm going to film this without them. I can actually see without my glasses so uh, this should be fine. This is just going to be a quick haul. I only picked up a couple of things but I am pleased with what I bought. We did buy a couple of things. When I go to somewhere new I'm quite reserved about what I buy because I'm not sure how the pricing works sometimes. Some places can be very expensive and some places can be not. This one was particularly all over the place and uh, in the end I spent £5, which for what I got I thought was fair. So one of the things that I bought was these. These are nail pullers. If you don't have a set of these and you have a brad nailer, I well recommend them because they make it easy to pull out random brads. These are vintage ones and I find vintage tools can be very well made. These are super sturdy and in good condition and I wanted a bigger set buying them new they can be about eight to ten pounds next i picked up these which are vintage paint brushes so first of all paint brushes very practical for me i paint lots of things but i also particularly just like vintage paint brushes and i've liked them for a while before they were popular uh lots of sort of farmhouse uh cottage core, that type of thing, use them for displays, and I just like having these. So these are super good quality. I won't paint anything with these, I'll probably just keep them and use them for sort of display or decorative or staging and photos. Um, I think they'd be good for that as well. They have been used in the past, but they're still in good, clean condition. But I did see lots of other paintbrushes there, so if I do go back and I see good quality ones that I think I can use for furniture, I'll be definitely picking those up. Next up is this little cash box. So this is a little vintage cash box. These were normally given away by the banks to children to encourage them to save their money and then they would deposit in, into their accounts. Uh, this one is a bit rusty so I will apply a bit of wax. I'll give it a clean and apply some wax on it just to seal all that in. And then inside, oops. Unfortunately, no money, but it does have all these little vintage button sets, which probably aren't that useful for me, but uh, I will keep hold of them, and I have a, a separate box downstairs that I've, I've got buttons and things in, so I will uh, include those with those. So there's some odd colours in there that I don't, you know, I don't really use red buttons, but um, always handy to have for a project. And then my favourite item, this was something that I saw from across the aisle and I just went, oh, got to have that. And it's this. So it's a Chubba Chubbs tin. Um, I really like the colour, I really like the design. As you know, I like a lot of fairground circus type stuff and obviously this is a circus it's got a, a circus design, it's got some monkeys doing some aerobics, it's got a, um, a crocodile on a unicycle. A bit bashed, but it's not in that bad a condition. I can't find a date, it looks 90s or so to me, which is probably why it speaks to me as being a 90s child. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I think I'm just going to clean it up and I'm just going to use it for my own storage. I'm just going to pop it on a shelf but with bits and pieces in. So really pleased with that and I think it's my favourite thing that I found. Let me know down in the comments below what I missed if you saw anything in this video that you thought I should have picked up. Also let me know what you think to the things that I actually picked to bring home and let me know whether you think I paid too much for them or whether £5 was a fair price. Also let me know if I head back whether you would like to see more and whether you'd be interested in more videos shopping with me. I hope you like this video, if you do please do consider subscribing to my channel. I post a new video every day throughout the month of January and I'm really trying to get to that 2,000 subscribers mark in the not too distant future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.